All right, uh, let's look at the, some uh, properties of complex conjugate. All right, first one. If you take the conjugate of uh, a summation, sum, or a difference, uh, you can just uh, take the um, uh, conjugate of each one, then carry out the addition and subtraction later. And uh, it works the same way with the multiplication. If you want to take the conjugate of the product, it's actually product of conjugates, right? And uh, division works the same way. If you take the conjugate of the z1 over z2, we can actually take the uh, conjugate of uh, the numerator and the denominator separately. So you would have a z1 bar over z2 bar, right? So uh, proof of uh, number three is a homework. Uh, so uh, let's prove the first one and the second one. All right, so proof. Of uh, property number one. All right, so we can let um, uh, Z1 and Z2, I'm gonna use the um, rectangular system. So you have uh, Z1, I'm gonna write it as uh, maybe uh, X1 plus um, IY1 and uh, Z2 to be uh, X2 plus I, Y, 2. All right, then we are looking at the left-hand side. So I'm gonna, let's start with the uh, uh, left-hand side, all right? Which is this guy right here, all right? Is equal to, all right? So we are looking at the addition. So you have uh, X, I, plus uh, I, Y, 1, sorry. Uh, so it's uh, addition or subtraction, let's do both. And then you have uh, X2 plus I, Y, 2, right? Then we take the conjugate, that, right? So this is equal to, right? So I'm gonna just take the, uh, the real part and the imaginary parts uh, separately. So it's going to be uh, x1 plus or minus x2, right? And then plus i, then you have a y1 uh, plus or minus y2. Right? So we have that. So conjugate just means the negating the, um, the imaginary part. So we're going to do... Um, x1 plus or minus x2, so real part stays the same. Imaginary part, I'm gonna negate it, so I'm gonna write it as i, so negating um, uh, y1, so it's negative y1, right? Plus or minus, uh, maybe I'll, I'll write it this way. And then you have a negative y2, right? Then I'm gonna split into, so I'm gonna take, um, uh, x1 and uh, plus uh, negative y, i, y1. So it's uh, x1 uh, plus i, uh, let's see, oh, let's see, i uh, negative y1. Or actually, maybe I should, uh, I should just, should write negative i, y1 and plus I x2, actually x plus or minus, negative i, y2. Right? So you can see that uh, this is just a conjugate of z1. So z1 bar plus or minus, this is a conjugate of z2 bar, uh, z2, so it's a z2 bar. Right? So which is the um, right hand side. So if we, uh, since we could go from the left-hand side to the right-hand side uh, using the chain of equality, so we established equality, all right? And uh, let's look at the proof of uh, number two, property number two. Uh, proof of number two, all right? For this multiplication property, uh, I'm going to use the um, uh, exponential form. So you have, we're going to let um, z1 
to be all one e to the i theta one and uh, z two to be r two e to the i theta two All right then let's start with the left hand side here All right so we have uh, r one e to the i theta one so that's z one and times r two e to the i theta two then we take the conjugate of both All right so I'm going to put the um, R1 and R2 together. And then a multiplication of the uh, exponential functions. We just do the addition. So it's the I theta 1 plus theta 2. Then take the conjugate. All right. Then remember that the, when you take the conjugate of the exponential function, we just have to negate the angle. So we have uh, R1 r2 e to the i right negating theta 1 theta 1 and then um, we have minus theta 2 right then again we can just split it into i'm going to use r1 together with e to the negative theta negative i theta 1 and then you have r2 with e to the negative i theta 2 right so you can see that, that this is the uh, z1 bar multiplied by z2 bar, which is the uh, right-hand side of the property number 2. All right? So we checked, um, we could prove, verify number 1 and uh, property number 2. All right? And property number 3 is a homework, but uh, it can be done uh, uh, very similar to uh, the proof of uh, number 2. All right? Uh, let's see, let, I'd like to go over one more example, all right? How about uh, exponential function, all right? Here's an example, all right? How would you do e, e to the z and then you take the conjugate? And as it turns out, uh, this is just going to be uh, e to the z bar. So you only conjugate the expo exponent part, all right? So let's try to verify if this is really the case. So uh, let's start with the left hand side. All right. I'm going to use the um, uh, polar coordinate. So you have, uh, uh, so actually, a uh, rectangular coordinate. So it's going to be e to the x plus i y. Then we take the conjugate of the whole thing. All right. Then I'm going to split that into a real part, which is e to the uh, like uh, the magnitude part. Then you have uh, e to the i y. Then we take the conjugate. All right. Using the property number two, we can take the conjugate of the of the first guy, and then we take the conjugate of the second guy. All right. But the e to the x is a, is a real number. There's no i which means that the conjugate is going to be exactly the same, right? So e to the x, right? Then conjugate of the exponential function here, uh, e to the i z, remember that we just have to negate the, um, um, negate the um, uh, angle. So in this case, angle z, so you have uh, e to the negative i z, right? If we put them together, you have uh, e to the x minus i z which is exactly the same thing as e to the z bar right which is the right hand side right so that will uh, that verifies uh, this fact so if you take the conjugate of the uh, e to the z all you have to do is uh, you can negate the uh, exponent part right that's it I hope that uh, this was clear